Hey guys, Abraxas here, and I'm going to be playing some Universe Sandbox 2. So, I've been playing this a lot lately. Uh, I do plan to get back into Space Engine videos. Um, I might record one tonight, or possibly tomorrow morning. But like I said in my last episode, it's probably going to be moving to more of a, like, a bi-weekly thing rather than a daily thing. Just because I'll spend like three to five hours working on each episode, and it's just really time consuming. So, yeah. Anyways, I do have a suggestion here from... Oh man, I don't even have YouTube up. I'll include the name in the description. Uh, he wants me to put all eight of the planets in orbit around the sun on the same axis. I don't think he mentioned the distance though, but I'm going to assume probably one astronomical unit. So, let's just start a new simulation. Okay, so let's add in our very own sun. Let's uh, pause time. I don't know what's going to actually happen in this one. This one's actually going to be uh, definitely surprising for sure. Let's uh, zoom out here. I assume we want to put it one astronomical unit. So right here. And I'm going to have to utilize these lines a little bit. Um, there we go, one AU. So there's Mercury, and I think I want to do it in probably a hex hexagon, so hexagonal? Yeah, something like that. And uh there we go. Let's put Venus here, so we got Mercury and Venus now. Earth here. Let's put the terrestrial worlds in like a kind of cross pattern like this. I think that would be really cool. Uh, one astronomical unit right here. Let's adjust that. There we go. So we have Earth, and now we need Mars, which will sit right up here. No, wait, this ain't how you make a hexagon. Oh, well. No, wait. Is it a hexagon I want? No, it's not. It's going to be an octagon, so it doesn't matter anyways. There we go. Okay, Jupiter will sit 1 AU between these two, past this line. Right there, so Jupiter is going to sit between Mercury and Mars. Saturn will sit, let's put it across from Jupiter. It, it does not feel like, oh, okay, never mind, I was also looking at the wrong thing. Okay, there we go. Saturn goes right there. Uranus goes right here. Let's try, oh, whoops, misplaced that. Let's get rid of Uranus, and let's fix that. There we go, Uranus goes there, and Neptune. And let's line that up properly. There we go. Okay, so there's all of our planets on the same axis, one astronomical unit away. Now, I don't think this is going to be stable. I think this is going to go very bad. Jupiter's going to start pulling the sun towards it. And wobble. And I feel like this is going to be chaos. But it's not going to be very quick chaos. It'll work for a little bit. Then over a few hundred years, it's going to go a little bit sporadic. We're going to end up with a lot of eccentric orbits and possibly even some tilt to the orbits. So let's see what happens. Let's go to uh, view orbits because I think that'll show this a little bit better. And let's hit play. Okay, so all these orbits are really, really close. I think I nailed that. Okay, so let's speed up time. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the background to something a little bit more visible. Let's go for studio lighting and background. Okay, solid white's too bright. Let's go with gray. Okay, so if we zoom in, let's zoom into our home planet here. And I think, yeah, the distance between Earth and the farthest orbit looks like probably about the distance between Earth and the Moon, possibly. No, the Moon probably sits about right here or something like that. So, pretty good though. Okay, so... I don't think much is happening. These orbits could be... Actually, I think they are separate. I think Mars is actually getting further away from this one right here. Yeah, it is actually slowly moving, but that could just be because these are actually based off like kind of a polygon mapping, not actually like a texture thing. Like you can see the sharp angles right there and stuff. 
But yeah, let's speed up time and let's just see what happens. Okay, let's get this closed down. I think it'd be best to kind of watch from this angle. Perhaps. And here we go. Yeah, Mars is actually getting very separated. Of course, it's next to Jupiter. Okay. So we can see the orbits are definitely separating out. They're getting more and more eccentric based on what planet they're next to. Earth, I don't think it's going to be affected that much because it's between uh, Uranus and I believe Neptune. Actually, Saturn. Okay. I don't think Earth is going to be affected too much. But as you see, it is actually widening a little bit. So let's go ahead and speed up time and just see what exactly happens. Earth is getting kind of cold. As you can see, it's kind of having some extreme seasons here. It's really, really starting to spread out. Let's speed up time even more. Okay, that's a little bit too much. We can't really observe that. Watch this. So this isn't as chaotic as I thought it would be, but let's pause the simulation. And let's disable the orbit view. Okay, so we're actually getting something here. No, they're not in a like hexagon shape anymore. In fact, Jupiter and Saturn have pulled uh, Venus and Mercury a little bit closer to them, while Earth is actually pulling closer to Uranus, so interesting. And we speed up time here, let's watch trails. Oh, look at Venus. That's very cool. Oh, almost had a collision. Nah, it was probably pretty far off, but... Yeah, things are uh, going a little bit wonky here now. Okay, let's pause the simulation. Now let's focus on the sun. There we go. Oh, wow. Uh, that's a little bit less uh, dizzying, I guess. Yeah, let's watch the orbits. Yeah, as you can see, they're starting to go everywhere now. I didn't, yeah, I was, I was pretty sure that wasn't going to be a stable system. The variance in mass is just too much. Oh, wow, did you see that? Now let's just speed up time. Neptune, and that's actually closer to the sun. I think this is Venus out here. Yeah, that's Venus. Here's Mercury. Here's Earth. And Jupiter is kind of just standing its ground as is expected. It's a very massive object. But it's actually orbiting very close to Saturn. Yeah, Saturn and Jupiter are kind of just twitching there in the center. Neptune, I think, will forever sit there. now been 250 years and uh, I guess I'll just time lapse this let's uh, fast forward even more let's go like 10 years per second uh, I guess 50 60 70 70 years per second and uh, I'll come back to this in about uh, 10 minutes whoa wait a minute what the hell is that oh that's Uranus goodbye Uranus oh Neptune, Mercury, and Venus were thrown out. Very interesting. Venus was thrown out at very high velocity. Look at that. It's just gone. Off to be a planemo. Earth is still sitting in the center there. In fact, I think it found its stable orbit. It's just got Jupiter kind of influencing it now. Yeah, I guess I'm not really time-lapsing. I guess I'm just watching this in real time, ain't I? Venus is just gone. 
So I guess we'll just watch this. I'll stop it at 10,000 years. How's that sound? Okay, so I've actually let it go for 12,000 years. Let's go ahead and pause the game. Okay, so from what I could tell, it's mostly the same. It looks like uh, Uranus and Saturn have gotten a little bit more eccentric. Earth, however, is orbiting, I think, a lot closer than 1 AU from the sun. Yeah. It's actually sitting at a temperature of 259 degrees Celsius. As you can see, there is no oceans on this planet, and very likely only subsurface life or just no life at all so essentially all life on earth is extinct at least all surface life so that would be the end of our earth but let's zoom out and here's Neptune sitting at a I don't think it's gonna have a semi-major axis but it's very very far and same with Mercury but Venus was at a much higher velocity and it's way out here very, very far from the sun. So, Venus is gone. Un uh, I saw something over there. There it is. So that's the sun over there. Barely visible. A faint star at this point. Very cool. So that is what would happen. Um, I was trying to, while it was uh, time lapsing, find uh, who actually suggested suggested this idea. Let me uh, find that again. Come on. Scrolling through the comments right now, and uh, I'm not seeing it. Ah, yes, it was uh, Rares Jaguar, 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 whatever you want to pronounce it. Potato, potato. YT YouTube. Um, he's the one who actually suggested this. He said, can you make all the planets orbit at one astronomical unit? So yeah, it was at 1 AU. And this is the result that I uh, came up with. I kind of made it four terrestrial worlds, just kind of uh, cross-shaped to each other, along with the uh, gas giants in kind of an X shape. So this is the result, and uh, Venus is long gone, and Earth, well, it's not habitable anymore. So, anyways, if you guys liked the video, please leave it a like, and if you want to see more videos like this, please do subscribe, it really does help. And I will see you guys in the next one.